Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. When life tests us, hold on, we'll get through. How easy and simple does that sound? I know. It's not easy and it's certainly much harder than it sounds. Believe, believe you me, I know how that sounds and I probably know how you're feeling. My life this year has been turned upside down since May. I lost somebody so close and so dear to me even now and i say even now it's been no time at all i lost my nan on the 31st of may and right now it's incomprehensible of how life moves on it really is um and i have days where i can bear it and i have days where you just make do but how, but how we deal with these things either makes us stronger or we can break. And believe you me, I've broken. I've broken lots and lots of times. But my point today is that if you're having a bad day today, tomorrow has a whole humongous chance of being a good day. Open up, talk, seek the help or the... Or Sometimes it's really difficult. I understand that more than most. I really, really do. When you have a day where you kind of go into automatic mode and you kind of almost just sort of say something and you're kind of not necessarily there. And life is so much, in a way, absorbed you that you're just kind of going through an automatic phase. And I urge you to sort of take a moment and raise your chin and look around. Take that help. There will be people around. There will be people who want to help. There will be people who know what you're going through. Nine times out of ten, family is all around us. And for some, that's not the case. I am ultimately privileged with the family, the parents I have. A very, very special, special family I've been gifted with. Life is difficult, and yesterday was a bad day, but you know what? Today was a good one. This afternoon, I had a bit of a moment. I really, really did. I found something which I was going to show my nan the next time I visited her. And I never got to do that. Ultimately, I know how my nan felt about me, and I know she knew how I felt for my nan. Life tests us, but I truly, truly feel that these things have a way of making us stronger, more resilient, more robust to life. When I have a down moment, I am blessed. I have my mum by my side. I have my dad. I have my brothers. I have a very strong family, a very loving family, a very incredible family. Who's the first person I go to? My mum. Now is everything to me. Is everything to me. I refuse to say that she's not here no longer. She's always with me. I miss her so very much. As I say, yesterday was a bad day. Today was a good one. You could be going through loss yourself. You could be going through financial worries. You could be going through relationship problems. You could have lost somebody, you could have gained somebody, and you're sat there worrying about if you're doing the right thing, or if something's not going your way, or perhaps you're down on your luck in life. Perhaps you don't know which way to turn. Perhaps stress, or grief, or worry, or fear, or just overthinking is taking you down a path which you really don't know which way to turn. I've been there. For a lot of those things, I've been there. You know, I'm 28 and I've experienced a lot of health problems, the worst grief possible. After losing somebody, I never ever thought I'd even live without. This world for me right now, as the famous song goes, has truly lost its glory. And I feel in a world of darkness that there are 
days, which the light still shines. To me, that's Nana Buzz looking down on me, as she always said she would be. I urge you that, yes, you may well be having a bad day, but it gets better. Not for me right now, but I'm sure it will in the end. I try to think of all of what my nan went through, and she had times in her life which I cannot begin to think how on earth she be began to deal with them, but she did. She was an incredibly, incredibly strong lady, an immaculate lady, a beautiful soul, a glamorous lady, a land girl. My nan was a land army, um, was a land army veteran. Um, a very, very special grandmother, an uh, absolute beautiful mother, and an ultimate best friend. You may well be having a bad day, but concentrate on the small things. Concentrate little by little. For me, to try and get my life off, perhaps to try and grasp a little bit of my life, or to take control again, is to be quite honest with you, I felt like I've been falling down a cliff for uh, many weeks now. I also wasn't happy with my career, but when this happened, everything else went out the window. But I know my man would have wanted me to have carried on, and would have wanted the very, very best for me in this life. I was ready to walk away from the job which I thought was going to be absolutely incredible. It turned out it wasn't, nearly 18 months in, and I thought to myself, I either walk away, or I do something about it. So here's a tip which I thought of. If you think of something that it should have been perfect, why can't it be? Why can it still not be perfect? And you may be sat there thinking, well, number one, I can't because of this or because of that. It may be because of money. It may be because of family problems. It may be because of stress or worry. But if something is meant to be perfect for you, I intend to work hard at it and I intend to damn well make it perfect. This life is far too difficult for finding something which was meant to be perfect and then actually thinking this isn't what it's meant to be and then moving on. No, if you find something and you think that it should be perfect for you or whether that be a relationship, whether that be a job, whether that be a situation you find yourself in or something which you have taken on from somebody, whether that be career-wise, whether that be monetary-wise, whether that be stress, whether that be whatever, if it is meant to work, if it is meant to be good, if it is what you want in life, if a situation is meant to be perfect, this was meant to be my dream job. Do you know what I've done? I took a moment, Thursday, and by the way, it's Saturday afternoon now, or evening, evening, early evening, and I said, do you know what, to myself, no, this is not happening to me as well. The things we can control in life, if we raise our hands and if we put our mind to it, let's take control. So I spoke to my line manager and do you know what? I was absolutely shocked by the reaction because she was thinking what I was thinking, that the role in a way wasn't offering me what it should be and that actually I needed more of a challenge. So next week I'm starting a new challenge and it looks as though that I'm on the path my dream job. If it's not, then I've given it my all and I've tried, but I'm certainly going to still keep working and battling hard on this journey in this life of where I want my career to be. And it's meant to be perfect. It's going to be perfect because I'm going to work hard and I'm going to make it perfect. With Nan looking down on me, I know that I'll have the strength, the determination, the willpower as she did, the courage to make my life how I want it to be. You may well be having a bad day, but believe you me, it will get better. Things change, and from my favourite film, miracles happen every day. My eldest brother hates me for saying this, but I truly do believe this. If you put good into the world, it finds its way back to you eventually. I love charity. I do lots for charity. I think I get that from my nan. I truly do believe we have one life, and if you choose, we have one life. And I think, why wouldn't you not want to spend it by helping others and making it truly special, not just the people we love, cherish, and adore, and are precious to us, 
But if you can make somebody's day just that little bit more happy or that little bit more positive or that glimmer of hope that life is good, why wouldn't you? I'm going through a dark, horrible, horrible time where I feel as I've been thrown into a black abyss. But I make it my my purpose in life to do good things still. I have nieces and nephews who I love and adore and cherish. Today, I treated them all. And you know what? It felt good. I don't have children of my own, so if I can help my brothers, my sister-in-law and my brother's partners, to actually do something good and to help them, and to make my nieces and nephews smile, then that's that's all that to me, in a way, it gives me that step to come back from the actually life isn't over. Now will always be with me. But life carries on. I'm 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 sure she would want it to. And as I'm talking to you now, I've got my nan right with me. Glamorous lady, who I love and adore. You may well be having your bad day. But I'm on a good one. Yours, I'm sure, will be along soon. Just because you feel as though that at the moment nothing's working for you, or nothing's going away, or you feel as though that someone's dragged the carpet from out underneath you, or they've switched the light off and you're in complete darkness, open your eyes, open your heart. I try to do it every day. Now you may think, what? On earth is he going on about? What philosophical rubbish is coming out of his mouth? I truly do believe that every day is a blessing, and I truly do believe, even with the things what's happened to me health-wise, and losing my nan, and the awful traumatic things which have happened to my family in the past goodness knows how many years, that every day is a blessing. Nobody is promised a tomorrow. And if we are blessed with another one, let's grab it with both hands and let's run with it. Honestly, tomorrow is going to be your good day. Keep thinking that and it will happen. It's Saturday evening. I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend. Be positive, be happy, smile, even inside if you don't feel it. It will follow. It will happen for you, I'm sure. If you work hard enough in life, why wouldn't good things happen to you? And you may be sat there thinking, it really, really doesn't. Honestly, I know that feeling. I know that feeling. But for me, concentrate on something which will get you through until everything starts to cascade to this beautiful, wonderful life which you so deserve. For me, I have faith. So every night, most nights, I pray. And that gives me strength. That gives me the next, the kind of the steps towards the next day. And the bond I have with my parents, my brothers, my family, my nieces, my nephew, it's it's that what gets me through, the love of my nan, even though she isn't with me now, I know it's there and I know she's there. Concentrate on something, you'll get through, you'll certainly get there. Yours may be a new challenge, it may be a new job, it may be moving, it may be your relationship. You'll get there. You really, really will. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for sharing this with me and I wish you all the very best wishes in this world. Enjoy the rest of this weekend. Enjoy the moment you are right now. Don't worry about tomorrow. Let it worry about itself. Enjoy the right now. Try and turn your mind off. Try to stop stressing. Honestly, your good day is coming up soon. Thank you very much. This is something I wanted to share with you, something which has been on my mind. It feels great to talk about it, to open up. I really wish you the very best in life, always. My love and very best wishes. And until next time, I'll be seeing you then. Bye-bye now.